Hey guys, Matt here. I just want to show you my uh, electronic system for remotely activating a uh, hog trap. We built this trap here. It's a corral style trap. I think it has eight or nine cattle panels uh, in a continuous circle. You want, want it in a circle <clears throat> so that they can't really get hemmed up in a corner. Um, seems like that works a little better. Then we have some uh, cattle panels that have been cut in half lengthwise and we have let, uh, put them around the bottom of the trap, kind of staggered, so that it helps keep the little ones in. If the little ones ever get their front feet through a bigger hole, like it's up here in the top, they'll be gone. You'll be surprised what a hog can squeeze through. So we've learned that the hard way and we've made a few adjustments on this trap here. This is a permanent style trap. We've had this trap here for four or five years. We've caught, uh, how many, 200, 200, 300 hogs in this thing. Uh, we recently adapted it to uh, the remote control system here. I saw, um, got the idea from uh, the internet actually. Did a little research and threw the electronics together. Basically it consists of a GSM control board. It works on the AT&T uh, cell network. And it's a 3G. We just recently upgraded to be 3G, 4G compatible. So this controller will last um, until that service goes away, which is no time soon. Basically, the, the uh, electronics are held in here. I've got a uh, five watt solar panel that keeps the battery topped off. <clears throat> and in this box here, we've got a little control wire running. That is a 60 pound uh, door popper solenoid. And as you can tell, it's, uh, <laughs> it's seen probably it's better days, but it still works. Um, it's been out here ever since, uh, you know, probably for three or four years, ever since we started doing it this way. That's our uh, trigger system that he's showing you right there. Um, just a couple of eye hooks and a little pin that slips in and out. Um, and we've got a little catch on the door here. And uh, it will <clears throat> catch it. And push it all the way down. It just barely hangs on that. We need to adjust the trap gate <clears throat> to make sure that it hangs on there. And then the door popper solenoid pulls the pin up and releases the gate. The gate is spring loaded. There you have it, folks. Um, I would show you all the, uh, the stuff inside the box here, but uh, I had this uh, posted freely on the internet and some guys took my idea and they're making money off of it now. So I don't wanna give away too much of my secrets here, no more than they already have. So with that, um, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. All right, guys, now we're going to demonstrate how the trap works. So basically, <clears throat> the electronics let you put in um, your number, which is a whitelist. I don't know if you heard that, but there's hogs um, in the background hollering. And we're trying to get this done and get out of here, so maybe we can trap some tonight. But anyway, the electronics has what's called a whitelist. And you put your phone number, your cell phone number, in that whitelist, and it will only accept calls from those numbers. So that's how it's set up. That keeps people from arbitrarily dialing your number just by accident or something and releasing the trap. So we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna dial the number. I got the number in the in uh, this phone here, and we'll test it out. We'll put it on speakerphone so you can hear it. It usually takes two rings and then it triggers. There you have it, folks. Simple as that. You can dial that number from anywhere. You have sales service and you can release the gate. It's pretty neat. Take care.